deaths are incredibly young. You've got three boys, teenage boys, who were shot. Police say the eldest of all three of them. Alarming story of the six-year-old Virginia boy who shot his teacher. His family is breaking their silence, speaking for the first conspiracy to commit a mass Columbine-style school shooting. Connor Pruitt, 13, and his 14-year-old buddy, Philip Bird, were allegedly planning to target their middle school in Lehigh Acres, Florida. It's the teen killing that brought outrage in Washington, D.C. Tonight, murder charges announced against the man who shot 13-year-old Karan Blake to death. As some of the boy's last words are... That continues another teen death due to gun violence. This time, it was a 15-year-old in the Bronx. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram has a story now. Watch a group of teens hitting and kicking another boy curled up on the ground. KTLA Shelby Nelson spoke to the mother of that student, seen taking several punches and... Yeah, that's pretty rough, right? This is, this is our world. It's your world and it's mine. If it's my neighborhood, it's your neighborhood. If it's my child, it's your child. This way is so heavy on my heart, y'all. I've been praying and I've been asking God, what can I do? You know, what, what can I say? Something is missing. Something has to click. Let me say this first. I am a parent. I have three boys. One who's 20 years old, one who's 15 years old, and one who's eight. So what I'm about to tell you, sweetheart, didn't come from a book. It didn't come from me watching a movie. It didn't come, I didn't hear it through the grapevine. This is my reality. This is my day to day. And as long as you are parent, you are parenting to the day you are dead and gone. The concerns and the worry of a parent never goes away. It is always in the back of your mind. You see it on your news. You see it in the neighborhood. You see it at the mall. You see it at the stores. We, we're losing our children. And do you know why? It's because of us. Yeah, it is. See, the only way this is going to work, I'm going to try my best to be honest with you. And I'm going to need you to be honest with you too. So I'm going to put it all in a nutshell. A lot of these children are lacking love and discipline. You can't do one without the other. You can't just be loving on them and you don't never correct them when they're wrong and you just loving on them, loving them. You ignoring it and it's growing and it's growing. They get more disrespectful when they start growing. Because let me tell you something, it's cute now. Believe me, I'm a living witness. They grow and they get big. They don't stay two or three. Do you understand? And you can't just be disciplining and disciplining and disciplining. You're going to corrupt them. You have to love and discipline your child. You can't do one without the other. Let me say this. It is our job to use our maturity to help point out things that doesn't come natural for them to see. Please rewind that back. Things that doesn't come natural for them to see. Oh. These kids has been they, they, you, these kids has been exposed to so much. I'ma need you to think about that. The world is at their fingertips with their phones and the computers and these tablets, and they have so much knowledge. Yes, they do. My son is eight years old and he know how to do PowerPoints. He's writing little essays. Do you understand? We didn't do that. We didn't have that knowledge. Yes, they are smart, but they are less mature. They have less maturity. And see, what we usually do is 
we do a good job in making sure some of us do a good job in making sure our kids get the education and we putting them in everything and making sure they doing all of this and and they doing this and then you running the kids to death you keeping them busy good 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 but what about their spiritual enrichment are you instilling something in them that they going to have that they that they can keep for the rest of their lives and they won't depart from it what are you what are you teaching your children? How are you guiding your children? If you don't instill it in them, if you don't correct them now, especially if they're young, because you know what the Bible said, it says train up a child. It didn't say don't train up a teen. It didn't say train up an adult. It said a child. You can't, it'll be difficult to train up a teen. It'll be difficult to train up an, uh, train up an adult. That's why you have to train up a child. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? And believe me, they may stray away. They may stray away. They gonna have to figure it out. But believe me, they they won't uh, they won't be able to separate from it. Believe me, I'm a living witness of that. You don't think they see what you're doing? They do. You don't think they're watching you? They are. You don't think they're listening to you? They are. It starts with us. Mm, God loves you. He really do. It's your girl, yo homie, TT. Thank you for allowing me to pour this tea of love. Some of this inspiration and motivation. Y'all tell me next week and see what God gonna do. Because you know I have no idea. But this I do know. I know it's hard. I'm there with you. But you have to start making the change today. It starts with you. It doesn't come with a manual. We don't know. Everybody kids is different. You need to first realize that you realize that you are co-parenting with God. And once you obey God, leave all the consequences up to him. Believe me, they'll come back. But this is your responsibility. And nobody else. You either do it now or you'll regret it later. Believe me, honey. I know. Y'all be blessed. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Bye.